Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pink Creek Super Speedway, the second and last stop of the Canadian Tour. And, of course, the final time we go around internationally in the Xfinity Series, they're about ready to take here before they come back to the States. So, let's get on down to your starting lineup. On the pole is Steve Pollard. Next to him, Daniel Olson. Third, Jake Baskinger. Fourth, Rob Evans. Fifth, Garrett Sidner. Sixth, Jonathan Zorlin. Seventh, Vince Almariego. Eighth, Marty Johnson. Ninth, Benny Watts playing the top ten. Mattis at all. Here's the rest of your starting lineup from 11th on back. So we finish out the Canadian Tour and everything all international with a big, huge super speedway. And it's a very intriguing one. It's had some past history. It's been around... Since the very first season, and both series have had its, uh, well, let's just say it's had some moments. Let's put it, we'll leave it like that. On the final row, we have Vince Freeze and James Ellison. It's like they say, it doesn't matter where you start a track like this. It matters where you finish, so. But this is the first time, though, with this new package. It's going to be really interesting to see what's going to happen. So. I don't know what really what to say except for the fact that with this race and how that package is, it's literally going to be a wild card. I hope, the keyword hope, can prove people wrong that this race will be really, really good. So we're getting closer and closer to getting the command and we shall see what will happen. So let's get the command to fire the engines here for the Carter Freeze and Mean package. Drivers, start your engines. And for the record, there was the Car Carter Freeze and Mean package 312. I couldn't get the number part right, but that was what it was. Anyways, cars are rolling on off. No one coming down the pit road. It's going to be interesting to see what will happen with these drivers here when they take that green and to see how fan out they are. For the past seasons there, outside of this season, of course, because, you know, different mod and all, these cars managed to fan out five, six wide and everything. Trouble spot, everyone will keep an eye on is entering towards that bridge after that will be a really interesting thing because they like to squeeze each other coming into that area. Hopefully they don't do that this time. If they do, well, I think you get what I mean. But pace cars on down the pit road. Some drivers would like to get a, a win today here. Green flag is out and we're underway here at Pigs Creek. Jake Baskinger and Garrett Sidner, both with an amazing start right there. But you got to give credit, though, for Jake when he's going to get every bit of qualifying effort that's going to go on by in place for him here. His apologies there. That was a phone call that came out of the blue right there. So I don't know why that came. Regardless, though. Heading off that final turn, trying to complete that first lap. Man, Matthew Eves really trying to go all the way to the high line for whatever reason. And obviously, you know, they try to block using that high line because you notice there's times where that high line right there, you get a bit of a run. A couple cars got into the wall right there. And I'll tell you what, for the most part, we're still seeing some of that super speedway like racing here. And there's still a few drivers trying to get into this pack. But very wisely, you're just chilling back like Sean Hart and others. Ryan Griffin, car 29. Your winner in Ireland. Got out of that pack. I don't blame right there. Man, Garrett 
Douglas and Demax all contact. There's a wreck in the back. Oh, and there goes Griffin Demax, but oh, and Demax got turned last second. One car on his side. Oh, and a car flipping. That's Madison Tall in the 80. Watson involved again. Aaron Douglas, Nicholas Guerra. Tall, Marty Johnson, Eugene Max. Patrick Smith, I seen him go around earlier. Andrew Miller. Huge damage. And they're saying the 81 of Tang is leading. There he is. Caution coming out on lap two. Because we're on lap three right now, so. There's one thing the drivers love seeing right now is seeing those yellow lights there. And especially how we were in road course racing for the last five weeks. And, you know, obviously they weren't going to be able to see that from that point on. And, well, that changed today. Change very quick. And for a second, I thought Sebastian Kukulon ran to the back of Matthew Eves, but he's good. Caution's out. Tang, your leader. Let's take a look where Browder solves the caution and then the follow up wreck. Well, I haven't seen one of these wrecks in a while. It's going to start with Cole Deaver and Cole Baker, who then go into Patrick Smith, who just absolutely clipped him, and I mean, barely. Both going to Miller, Patrick Smith, Riley Keith going to get a little assist on that one. I don't know if the three cars going to have some damage there. You see the 15 of Smith, the Canadian, is going to go into that grass right there. And both cars are trying to keep it together. Smith was just trying to get back on the throttle. He's also trying to avoid Andrew Miller spinning right there. But don't forget, there's a wall coming up right there. And... Both absolutely clobber the wall right there. And that's what ends their day just like that. They're probably wondering what happened up there. And wow, Kukulon barely avoided that one there. Let's go with Douglas here. And then uh, yeah, they were that was in the third position. And you heard the wreck right behind. But watch Demax and Douglas. They're just going to make a little bit of contact. Just enough. Going to Garrett. Look at Ryan Griffin. Got the wall a little bit. But he, that was like a hold your breath moment right there. There's Marty Johnson also getting involved. Steve Pollard, the pole sitter. Madison Tall. Oh, Johnson was the one that clipped the 10. And look at the 80 car. Flying. Nice miss by Zorlin. Matthew Eves, Rob Evans, and Sebastian Google. I seen it right there. Very close call. Tall is riding the saver barrier. You can see right there. And gravity's gonna come along and help the 80 out in the midst of flipping over. And the Freightliner Chevrolet for NS Racing. Gonna go up and over multiple times there. Actually, uh one time actually she did. Wow. Very amazed. I thought she only she did a couple more, but that was all that took play there. Caution's out. Stick it back to the green. Pace car resumes the one lap to go. Well, in case you're wondering how fast they're going on the pacing, I just want to point this out. They're going 110 miles an hour all around. So just kind of want to share that real quick, because they're going fast around this area, and I can see why it's a big, huge track, and of course, pit strategy. That if we Add on some laps or add pit strategy to this, you know. I think you get what I mean. Out of the race, include the following as mentioned from before, which was Miller, Smith, Tall, Watson, and uh, Nicholas Guerra. Aaron Douglas, Eugene Max, Martin Johnson, they got their cars repaired. The back out of the course scene for Cole Baker. So Jackie Tang going to restart as the leader. Eli Bright, second. Third, Bobo Jones. Fourth, Garrett Sedner. Fifth, James Ellison. Sixth, Elijah Leonard. Seventh, TJ Hanley. Eighth, Jay Cook. Ninth, Skylar Dick. Split the top ten, uh, Adam Garcia. Left through 20th is Brandon Crasta. Joshua Sicoli, Vince Almariego. Jonathan Hoff. Gary Owen. Ryan Griffin. Nathan Stapleton. Jake Baskinger. Ryan Acosta. Cole Deaver. Top 30, Sean R. Vince Freeze. Travis Crampton, there's the fellow Canadian, Carter Friesen, Austin Yoakum, Riley Keith, D. 
Daniel Olsen, Michael Walton, Jonathan Zorlin, and Rob Evans. Rest of the field from behind 30th. Matthew Eves, Sebastian Kukulon, Steve Pollard, Cole Baker, Marty Johnson, Eugene Max, Aaron Douglas, and 37. Green flag back underway here at Pink's Creek. Speaking of Canadians, Jones, who was a born Canadian, even though also his home track is Pocono. A win here would be great. He won a Daytona earlier this season, and, well, Bobo's been a bit of a, a slip mode. He just can't seem to get out of that post-Daytona victory. It seems like the champagne is really wearing effect on the Panhandle Chevrolet, or Toyota, I mean. Now Elijah Leonard in the bank Chevrolet will take the lead. A lot of uncertainty that's going to happen heading into 2021 if Leonard's going to be in this series or not. Very, very uncertain. But what we do know, he's just trying to do his thing. At least try to get a win. That would be great. Got out of that horrible last season. And this season... I mean, it's been a lot better than last season, but it's still kind of, you know, needs some improvement. He almost won that Daytona race. Ironic enough, the driver who he lost, like I mentioned before, Bubba Jones, not too far away there, right next to him. These drivers still trying to pinch each other. They're heading into that bridge, and I don't know why they were doing that. And Oh, man. Team, or not teammates. That's uh, Jonathan Hoff and Vitzal Mariego. A bit of contact right there. And Austin Yoakum, he realizing time to go to the front. Because look at Jackie Tang and Garrettson. Oh, and there goes Dixon and Ryan Acosta and Eli Bright. Caution will be out. Oh, man, two teammates right there. Oh, man, and I thought that he was going to get whacked there. Acosta also there, and there's Eli Bright. Man, that stinks right there. Caution immediately back out. And oh man, this is a little uh, precarious. They are six wide right off turn two. And uh, that's not good. I They got to settle that out. They finally do. We'll take another look in just a second here because... Uh, Gotta keep an eye on these drivers right here. Yeah, they're gonna be all right, which is a good sign right there. But there you see Acosta in the 19, absolutely crunched up. Dixon in the 77. I forgot to mention, um, you know, one of the few two-time winners in this series. Let's try to look real quick where the other um, Canadian drivers are. Is that's going to be it for him? This Baskinger is currently the leader because we got uh, Bobo Jones, Carter Friesen. From what we have gathered, that is the only two that are here. So it's up to Friesen trying to represent. But Jake Vaskinger out in front. He would love to get a super speedway victory. This would be a great ordeal if he could do it. He'd be a two-time winner. Let's see if we brought ourselves our second caution here at Pigs Creek. Well, you're seeing from Eli Bright's view, and Dixon just got into that corner. Ryan Acosta and Acosta, hard hit, man. That's about head on right there. Actually, got four tires off the ground. And put him back down right there, but oh man, what a lick that was there! And man, that was a shot right there. But again, you've seen the accident take play before, and that's the aftermath right there. So, man, that was a hard hit right there. You know, we don't see a lot of wrecks off turn four, so that's a, a little bit of a rare instance there. Caution's out, take it back to the green. Welcome back to the Carter Mean Carter Freeze and Mean Package 312 here at Pigs Creek. And I'll tell you what, Jake Baskinger, funny how he started on the pole and he's back to where he is. So 
The three drivers I mentioned from before, they are out of the race. Skylar Dixon, Ryan Acosta, and Eli Bright, 37, 36, and 35th. So 34 cars are still out on track. Michael Walton actually came down pit road for some odd reason. There he is coming back out to catch up with the field, so he'll be fine. But he's going to have to deal with some of those damaged cars, so he's got to get around them quickly. Jake Baskinger will restart as the leader. Austin Yoakum, second, third. Nathan Stapleton, fourth. Jay Cook, fifth. Garrett Sidner, sixth. Bobo Jones, seventh. James, James Allison, eighth. Jackie Tang, ninth. TJ Hanley completing top ten. Vince Freeze. Got to give credit to Hanley and Freeze. They dodged all the trouble, and they're in the top ten because of their... Rest of the top, tw we'll do top 20. It's Carter Friesen, Brandon Cresta, Elijah Leonard, Jonathan Hoff, Gary Owen, Vince Almriego, Adam Garcia, Rob Evans, Joshua Sicoli, and Jonathan Zorland. Some of these guys who are up here towards that front, they've been quietly working their way up there, and it's paying off right now. But Baskinger going to restart as the leader with less than 10 to go. Green flag back underway. When's Yoakum going to make that move? He's going right now. He says, forget it. I'm going now. Now Sidner to the inside of Stapleton. That's for third. Now he wants Baskinger for second. Easily will take both spots. Here comes Ellison in the 39. And Friesen, the Canadian, the sponsored uh, driver of the race. You know his mean package, how he is. Extra spicy. Trying to work his way through the field. Look at Hoff dive bomb and make it five wide with Adam Garcia, who's going even lower. See, right here, that's inside line. That's easy inside line no matter what. That's the time to do it. When the time you want to be on the outside line is kind of around once you get the tires warmed up, basically after a lap. But Tang going to lead another lap. How about the 81 car? Him and Baskinger. So far, really good cars today. But you can see drivers can quickly fall to the back. And I mean quickly. Look at Gary Owen, the 69. How about Jonathan Zorland? How about Daniel Olsen? How about Cold Eaver sticking it in as they're five? Oh, no, that ain't going to work. Oh, and, yep, I saw that coming. Eve's going to get involved. Adam Garcia. And there's a big wreck ensuing. A huge wreck. One car flipping. That's Austin Yoakum in the 46. And look out. Drivers are having to hit the brakes. Eve's got involved with the front end damage. And that's probably going to end his chance at the victory. But the big one strikes. And look at Olsen trying to lead the line to make it three in a row. Tang now working on down his teammate there. Gary Owen trying. Tang will eat the line. Now I'm not sure. Because we're on lap 15. I have a feeling Tang's going to be the winner here. How about Evans Gardner, man? That's that's pretty neat. And I hope at Eves, if he can stay on the course, he'll get 12th, man. And he needed that. Let me just look real quick with um, Jackie. Oh, and Alvariego's blown the motor. Alvariego has blown the motor in the 24, who is in P9. I'm looking here, and I thought Tang managed to uh, uh, to win wait, way, way earlier, but he did not. So right now, it's going to say Jonathan Hoff is going to be in the 10th position. Tough break for Vince Almriego. He dodged all that trouble, all for nothing. And look who snuck in the top 25 after Pitt. And that's Michael Walton in the 21 there. Some of the cars who stayed toward the rear of the field after everything there. Riley Keith, Marty Johnson, Eugene DeMax, and Aaron Douglas all helped them out. Top 20 runs right there. And Eves is coming down. Oh, that's a tough break right there. Another car, I think, coming down pit road, I think. Austin Yoakum, he's, his car's destroyed. We've seen him flipping earlier. They had Stapleton coming on down. There's Leonard. Got involved. Ryan Griffin. 
Tough break for Eves. He about had it avoided, but he ran into someone. And now Amerigo trying to get in the pit road. There's now oil spilling all over pit road, so they're going to probably close pit road for the time being if this race you know, is going to continue. But we're near the end of the race, folks, and three to go. I'm pretty sure when we go to two to go, those lights are obviously going to be on. So Tang, out in front, let's look what happened to bring ourselves what will probably be our final caution. Yeah, let's thought six wide was a great idea. I know desperate moves are coming towards the final laps, but then you gotta know what what room is there left and you see Stapleton, Friesen, Hoff all getting involved. Bobo Jones, Jay Cook, Matthew Eves right there, Elijah Leonard. If I seen someone go in the grass, that may have been Jay Cook in the ninety nine. The car's actually split in the middle right there. There's Garcia. There's Yoakum get involved. Oh, right there. There's Kugelon. There's Ryan Griffin. Well, how does the 40... I saw someone flipping. That may have been the 46, but how does he flip over is the question. Well, it couldn't have been Griffin. Oh, Friesen was sliding in the grass there. That was who I wondered. TJ Hanley? Oh, no, it was Griffin again. But just a bit of a slow flip there. That's all it was. But this was dangerous. Look at Douglas, the Max, and others all right there. And That's always a scary thought, man. You're, you're slow. And there's guys coming in at least 180-plus around you that are going way faster than you there. But that was the big one. Come in place here at Pigs Creek. Car freeze and mean package, of course, that doesn't surprise me. Jonathan Zorl and Daniel Olsen almost had the victory. But Jackie Tang out of front, trying to help Evans Carter get another victory for their team. Let's take you back to see if Tang will do it. Well, you're seeing it, folks. We're on the white flag lap, and the pace car lights are on. That obviously was a sign right there, and I, I kind of figured that was going to happen with how many laps ago there was. And Yeah, that, that just... It didn't surprise me, but oh well. What a what a race it was, though. A little crazy, and that's why it's called a meme package. Cause, well, it's race like a meme. But unbelievable circumstances coming to the front straight, though. Jackie Tang is a winner today. Here at Pig Creek for the Carter Friesen meme package. And I hope Friesen who sees this embraces him with the memes. That's pr probably what should be. But unbelievable. What has happened today? So now because this is an official thing right here. Because also drivers are starting to run out of gas now, so... Chose to do it right after start finish line. I'm proud. Like as mentioned, Tang the winner. Gary Owen will come away second. Daniel Olsen third. Jonathan Zorlin fourth. Travis Crampton fifth. Brandon Cressa sixth. Cole Deaver seventh. Joshua Sicoli eighth. Vince Freeze ninth. Completing the top ten. Jonathan Hoff. Stretch the field on down. Got a feel for Al Mariego. Didn't even get involved in that accident. And blew up with a piston issue. Tough break right there. 29 cars finished the race all together. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like, comment, your thoughts, subscribe, part of the inner salt, but hit the subscribe button down below. And we will see you guys later for the cup race tomorrow. And for the Xfinity guys, well, we're back to the States. No more international racing from here on out. We stay full United States so you can scream America all you want. That's where we're going to be for the rest of the season. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Points in the video come like always. See you guys later.